Hello, Mrs. Pierce here again. Um, this time, we're going to talk about the 5D process. However, we're going to start um, defining our variables and then just writing equations. That way, we don't have to guess and check anymore. So let's do a problem that you're familiar with to get started. OK, so here's a problem that you guys had before. Hopefully, you recognize it. Ms. Pacheco, Mr. Edwards, and Mr. Richards are three math teachers at Turner Middle School. Ms. Pacheco is three years older than Mr. Richards. Well, it's kind of important there, so let's highlight that. Mr. Edwards is twice as old as Mr. Richards. I'm going to highlight that, and as I do, I'm noticing that both people, Pacheco and Edwards, seem to be compared to Mr. Richards. The sum of Richards and Edwards' age is 81. Okay, that's important too. How old is each person? So that's what we want to know in the end. Okay, so... Um, before, we would def uh, describe, and we just described by underlining the important information, and then we're going to start setting up our define. And the first thing in the define was always, which thing should we start with? Or in this case, which person should we start with? And Mr. Richards is the one that, if we knew Mr. Richards' age, we could then figure out the others. So when you define variables here, we only ever want one variable. And then we're going to use that variable to write other expressions. So, for example, we're going to say that um, Richards, I'm just going to put an R here for Richards, um, is what I'm going to start with. And let's just make him X. Now, if it were me, I'd probably make him an R. It really doesn't matter. But we'll go with X just to look like algebra. Um, and then the other two people we have is we have Mrs. Pacheco. And we have Mr. Edwards. Okay, so if Mr. Richards is X, then Mrs. Pacheco is three years older than Richards. So I'm going to say that Mrs. Pacheco is X plus three. And then Edwards is twice as old as Mr. Richards. Twice means two times. So I'm just going to write two X. Now, here's the important part. My equation is always going to be the do equals the decide. Okay? So do equals decide. That's how I'm going to write my equation. And the do tells me that the sum of Richards and Edwards. So I'm going just to Richards plus Edwards. Now if I look over at my variables, Richards is x plus Edwards is 2x. And if it is right, the answer is 81. So there, right here, ladies and gentlemen, is our equation. So if I can write an equation, I no longer have to keep guessing and checking to see if I'm right. So let's solve it. So I've got x plus 2x equals 81. Well, I can combine like terms here, so that's 3x. And now I need to divide both sides by 3. So x is going to equal... 27. Now, who was x? This is why it's really important that you do this stuff up here, okay? We need to define our variable. So x was Mr. Richards, so um, we need to know each person. So I can then go and say Mr. Richards is 27. And then Mrs. Pacheco. Mrs. Pacheco is Mr. Richards plus 3, so Pacheco is 30. And then Mr. Edwards, Mr. Ed, would be two times Richard's age. So 27 times 2 is 54. Okay, so that is one way to set it up. You can just use the top of the generic rectangle idea. Um, I'm going to go to another page in a second and show you another way you can do this if you would like. It's totally your choice. So since you've gotten used to using this um, spreadsheet for the 5D process, you can do that as long as you're defining and telling me what each variable is worth. So I'm going to um, go to a clear page and just show you how I would set those up. Okay, so how I would, um, you know, another way that you guys could set it up, when it says to define your variables, that means tell me what the x is worth or whatever you choose to do. So I'm going to say x equals Mr. Richard's age. And so if x is Mr. Richard's age, x plus 3 is Ms. Pacheco's age. Okay. 
and then x times 2, or 2x, is Mr. Edwards' age. So there's my defining my variables. Again, if it were me, I could have used an r since x was Richard's age, and then this would have been r plus 3, and then this would have been 2r. So it really doesn't matter. I like to use variables that kind of remind me of what it was. So when I'm done solving it, I know that my answer was Richard's, but it's totally up to you. And then we need our, equa our equation. So we've got our define, and then the equation was um, we had to do Richard's plus Edward's. So r plus 2r equals 81. And then you would solve it, and then you would make sure that you declare your answer. So pretty much we need the define, we need an equation, we obviously need to solve the equation, and you need the um, just, uh, declare. So let me put that on. Okay, so whenever you are now solving word problems using the modified 5D process, let's call it, this is what we need. You need to define the variables. So every time I give you a problem, you're going to get points for defining the variables. You need to write and solve an equation. I'm just going to say EQ for equation. Again, you're going to get points for writing the equation and points for solving the equation. And then you need to declare in a sentence just like before what your answer is. So that is how you will be graded um, for these problems. All right, let's just get practicing.